Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to go over in detail my fairy tale themed bracelet. Uh, and then I'm just gonna kinda show some of the pieces that I've been, um, really been my go-to's uh, over the past couple of weeks. Uh, but first we will go in detail of my fairy tale. So um, my fairy tale bracelet has I've taken on many life forms um, and this is the current state that it's in so um, not super committed to any pieces on this bracelet um, but I do like where it sits today uh, a lot of them um, not a ton of meaning and just really trying to fit around the theme of fairy tale so we will start with this end this is the Pixie Fairy. And what I love about her is I love the way she's just kind of sitting, hugging her knees, and in there is a little gold heart. Uh, I love the detail of these charms. I love her little feet. Like, they're actually shaped like feet. You could see the arches, um, the little bun in her hair, and then the detail on the fairy tale wings um pretty gorgeous i have the um celebration of love two-tone spacers uh, most of the pieces on here are two-tone um, it's a subtle two-tone bracelet and then the king of the jungle is on here as well um basically you have to be a fairy a heart or have a crown <laughs> was my criteria to make it onto this bracelet. It's not really made after any specific fairy tale story. Um, just kind of, just fairy tale in general. Then you just have the, the dangle fairy. Also has the little two-tone gold heart. I like her little wand. She also has some pretty good detail on her wings too. Uh, and I like the ruffles of her dress too, very detailed. Her feet not as detailed, they're a little smaller than the other fairy. My queen bee. Um, well I love her because sometimes I feel like I could be a queen bee. <laughs> and she has her little gold crown. The vintage heart charm. Um, I really liked this heart and its its vintage look and the gold center, um, so I thought this would be very fitting for this bracelet. Uh, the clips that I chose are the same clips. Um, it's the sunburst that has the the gold center. So when I was building this bracelet, again, I didn't want it to be built around a specific fairy tale. Um, but I did want a carriage on here, and I know there were a couple options uh, to go with, but um, I didn't want to do Disney on this one, but I could not help but um, pick the Cinderella's Pumpkin Coach as the carriage to put on here. Um, I love the CZ detail on it. I love the heart. You can see the little heart on the, on, like, the carriage door. It's just a really pretty charm with its little gold crown on top as well. The fairy tale book, of course, had to go on my fairy tale bracelet. The splendor crown had to go on my bracelet. Pandora's box, um, I like how it says, my unforgettable moment on the bottom, little small gold detailing um, for the heart. Then the top kind of looks like a flower. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know why this is on my fairy tale bracelet. I just felt like it it fit. Oh, I have this obnoxious string. It's my my kid's helium balloon is losing its helium, so it keeps falling. So I'll move that over. Um. Yeah, so I just felt like it should go on here. And the princess heart, obviously, because it says princess. 
and the crown. Um, the Happily Ever After Castle. I needed to go on my fairy tale. I love the little gold crown on the bottom here. A little pink CZ in the middle. <laughs> the frog prints. Um, I'm obsessed with frogs. A little frog tattoo. It's not my only frog tattoo. Um, so I was really excited when they had this frog and it had the little gold crown. And I love that his spots are flowers. And a unicorn. How can you not have a unicorn on your fairy tale bracelet? The unicorn has a little gold unicorn horn. My other spacer. My love struck heart charm. Gosh, this might be the one of the few that have um, special meaning, but this kind of represents, um, you know, that for me it was a specific moment when I first saw my guy in person before I knew he was even going to be my guy, kind of that take your breath away, who is this person, I need to get to know them immediately moment. So that's what that charm represents. And then my safety chain was fitting to use the heart with the crayon. And the bracelet, um, this is a 7.1, um, the signature clasp bracelet with the little two-tone accent with CZ in the middle. This, my friends, is my fairy tale bracelet. Um, I like to wear this one often um, because the two-tone is subtle. I do feel like it's pretty universal and goes with a lot. It's easy to match. That's that one. And just to kind of review some of my other ones, we won't go into a full review, but just kind of showing you what my go-to's are. Some of these we've probably talked about, some of them we haven't. Um, the Radiant Hearts Bangle. I love it. I love the little hearts that are around the center. And I love how it's super universal. Um, you can wear it so that the sparkle clear CZ part is on the top of your wrist. Or you could do the cerise enamel. The cerise or fuchsia? I'm not sure. Um, right, so you could pick and choose. Again, I like that this bangle is not a circle, but more oval. Um, just has a better fit on my wrist that way. And I like to wear this one with my work-inspired bracelet that we've reviewed in a previous video. Um, I feel like it just kind of they complement each other well when they're stacked. So there it's like that, or like that. It's always super fun. I did switch up my work inspired bracelet a little bit. Um, I moved these ones closer to the ruby geometric facets. I moved to the center um, instead of the encased in love. I just kind of swapped those out. I don't know why. I just felt like mixing it up and having this be my centerpiece right here. So again, don't want to spend too much time on this one since we have it on one of my previous videos. Uh, one of my other go-to ones right now is just this plain silver um, Pandora bracelet. Uh, I actually I am cheating on Pandora a little bit with this one because it has three ohm beads. Um, one of them being the latte cup with the little hearts in it. And gosh, I'm not even sure what she is called, but I love the meditating woman. And um, the assaulted pretzel. Um, also cheating on Pandora with, so there's three non-Pandora on here. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I was super hesitant to having anything not Pandora on a Pandora bracelet. So I bought an Ohm bracelet, but then those three beads were sitting on there very sad. Um, and I don't have any other Ohm ones, so I put them on this to make a, a complete bracelet. But um, this one's currently my go-to. It is a random one. Um, not a 
good theme going at all other than their silver and their CZ. And there's technically actually holiday. So I have my Christmas tree, my Easter rabbit. What else is holiday? Ghost for Halloween. Um, football, if you want to call that a holiday. It's a holiday for me. My pumpkin. Yeah, and then just random stuff. Um, I am wearing this one a lot because of the Bible um, and really is representing just um, keeping hope and prayer um, close to me right now. Just, just praying for a few people out there and um, just kind of need some extra watching over, you know, whatever your faith may be. Um, this just kind of represents that. So keeping this close to me until I guess you always need it but keeping it close to me for a reason and my other go-to the open bangle so I reviewed this on a previous video as well but um I didn't have it with the charms I was going to keep on it it was just kind of how I wore it out of the store so this is um where I've landed you probably have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me on Instagram at my Pandora Charm Life. Um, but I'm keeping this super simple. I just have the opulent heart as my centerpiece. And this piece is beautiful. Um, at first I thought it was kind of big, but then after having my eye on it over and over, um, I just I knew I needed it. And it was perfect for this because there's not a lot of other things drawing attention to it and um, these are the little stoppers that come with the open bangle these um, the light pink geometric facets I've had they're actually part of my first purchase and I just never quite knew where they went so they were sitting in my jewelry box until I decided to pair them up with this and then my little um, my silicone clips to kind of close those off since I moved those stoppers to the center this is my go-to for now as well a few videos ago I reviewed my Arabian coffee pot that was on this leather um, and I just love to wear this like this all the time too it's nice and light for kind of summer so one of my other go-to's for now um, when I'm not wearing my silver light as a feather ring, I'm definitely wearing my um, Pandora Rose light as a feather ring. Um, same with my earrings. If I'm not wearing the silver light as a feather, probably wearing the Pandora Rose light as a feather. The other one. Uh, these are my other leathers. I'm actually not using them right now, but I do keep them in here. So these are the other ones I I have, but currently not in a consistent rotation. I don't even have any charms on them. So this is just a small part of my collection. Um, I wanted to share just a few pieces other than just a review of um, the... The fairy tale um, just because I do have a lot that I want to get through and show everybody um, and put on YouTube but figure I'll feature a piece and then go over very generally um, some of the other pieces so hope you like my fairy tale bracelet um, this is probably what I Google Google search for the most on YouTube is what are people doing with their fairy tale bracelets because I love to see you know how other people interpret a fairy tale theme into their bracelets um, and I think it's really fun. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I have been really good. I told you guys in my last haul video that I was not going to be, um, purchasing anymore. Um, that was taking a little break. So I made a commitment to myself, um, that I had to hit a few milestones before I could do that. And so I did hit a milestone. Thanks to all you amazing viewers out there. Uh, my first video has hit over 5,000 views, so thank you very much. Uh, I will be getting a charm to represent that. 
Uh, I also made a commitment to um, reward myself for every 100 subscribers I have. So if you are not subscribing and you want to subscribe and help, um, I guess, kind of support my addiction of going and buying, um, subscribe. And for every 100 subscribers I get, I'm treating myself to a charm. Um, so whenever I go get my 5K views charm, I'll be sure to, to show you guys what I picked. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I will chat with you next time.